Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. I'm not even going to talk. Let's get right into the damn video. Again, I said I apologize. I just want to do everything the right way, but there's. It's it's right here. Hey, Well, I, like a, I got a license plate number of the person I'm talking about. She was also like making direct threats. I didn't allow her in. That's why I had my camera watching the She's allegedly in the of my husband. So she's making direct threats. She knows exactly where I'm at. She knows my phone number. She knows my she can drink. She's making direct threats. And she got me on the wrong day. I'm telling you. She was, I was sitting right there by the front door. She was by the front door? She, no, she I was by the front door. I was sitting inside there's here. There's another um, female out there in a green dress. The That's the one I'm talking, no, she's not a white female. Okay, there was another white female in a green dress, I'm sorry. She, uh, like I explained, she had single, um, single braids, and there was a half bun on top. So what did she exactly say to you today? I, I got witnesses. You can get witness statements as well. We never direct. So she got in. Excuse me. Give me a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's right here. Um, so she, she did end up coming through the door. And as I was walking around, I said, no, you need to leave. Respect me, my husband, and my children, and leave. And she hesitated. So you know her from previous experience I've then? Known, uh, yes. So, and I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful or getting into your business, but you know her as a boy, a, a girlfriend to your husband, or she claims she was... So when it comes to things like that, you only know what people tell you. Right. So... So she says one thing, and your former so husband I, said something I, different. And, okay. So this is like you holding on to something that you really don't have situation and now that he's right. gone. Right, and really he's gone, nothing. there's really no business to, okay. And so what did she say specifically to you today? She said, I'm going to end up in a casket right there where my husband is. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm a sh** dead. I wrote that. And it's, okay. I'm not playing. That's, Listen, I, I'm not doing this. Yeah. I'm not doing this. My husband does. Does she think she's going to get something? I don't I mean, know. I don't know. We don't talk. Because he's gone. We, we don't I mean, talk. It's, okay. We and her don't yeah. talk. We, never, we don't have anything to talk about. This is what you're does, does. Real talk. The nerve of a side chick showing up to your husband's funeral is crazy. To the side chicks out there, by no means should you show up to a guy that you've dealt with, you should not show up to his funeral knowing his wife is there with their kids. I don't condone it, but there are side chicks that do crazy stuff like that. And you're bugged out if you decide to do something like that. You were a side chick for a reason. You should know your place and you shouldn't come to a funeral and disrespect the wife while she's with their children. You're a side chick, not her, she's the wife. But the side chick is the one that came to the services and disrespected the wife like the side chick was getting something out of the man that's currently deceased. Does, Claiming to be your wife. Does have she a have a kid that she's trying to say is his? She doesn't have. She can't have kids. Okay. Mm. Mm. Did she come up here with people or? Her mother, her sister, her brother, her family. So did they so, think they were just going to come in and attend the funeral? Yeah, they signed the guest book because that's how far they got in. Yeah, they kind of pushed past me to get in. And they're sent outside now. They've been outside because I told them they need to leave. She, like I said, she hesitated. She directly threatened me. And the she, rest of the family members went out. They all, they all left. Okay. Yeah. But she's the one that wanted to act more before. 
Yeah, the, the mom was kind of like, a, she gave me a look, she gave me a real look. Pretty good for the for media But, um, she, um, they have since been outside. And, um... And you're with the funeral home, I'm right? at the funeral home. Yeah. I'm sorry. So if they're not attending, and the family don't want them here, then they, then they need to leave. Okay. It's supposed to I just have to know where we stand when we go out there. Of course. I mean, we could obviously... Yeah, like said, take like, her to jail if if need be if she's out there then the rest of the family she members can move left now that y'all pulled up because they've been trying to get my my family has been trying to get her to leave for about two hours now. when it comes to situations like these we would prefer them to leave that, so we don't have to have to something at a funeral we don't need that's exactly why i called her um <clears throat> Is that her and her family over up on the far back? Is that the olive green yep. dress? Yep. You are correct. Okay. You are correct. She's still here. Yep. Yeah. She's got. Like I said, the black Jeep Cherokee. Her license plate number is. She's been to my house, made threats. And then the side chick shows up to the funeral of the man she was dealing with, with her family, her brother, her mother, and some other family members. What sense does that make at all? A side chick. She's making it seem as if she has a child with that man. She's making it seem as if she was previously married to that man that passed away. You don't do that as a side chick. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there know side chicks that have went to funerals. But those side chicks probably knew their place and didn't disrespect the wife. And like us, like I said, again, I don't condone it. But this happens in real life. Some of these guys be having side chicks and when they pass away, the side chicks show up to the funeral. Sometimes the girlfriend or the wife may not know who they are because those side chicks actually play their role as a side chick. They don't come up. On, they don't come up in the funeral home making it seem like they were the wife. Or they were the baby mama. They don't come up. They just sit in the back and know their place and pay their respects. Maybe because they just even dealt with him before. But you do not by any means come up in a funeral home and disrespect the wife. And then you have the nerve to come with your family. That's bogus. It's there. So and that's going to be her and then she's got her. Everybody that's with her. So there's another girl with a green dress. That was her mother. I think her mother left. Okay. I don't see her. And those are anymore. her people? Those are her people, yep. Not necessarily your people. Well, the dude that's wiping his forehead right now, that's my husband's cousin. Okay. So like, like I said, this is this has gotten really messy over the past few days. She's been spreading rumors, telling lies, talking about that he divorced me and this is that, that we I got my marriage license in my purse. Yeah, we're not worried about that. I, I just want to make sure who I know I'm going to that's address it directly. when we go out there. Yep, so. that's it directly. And some of those people that's over there is my husband's family. Like I said, the dude with the braids to going down. Will they try to intervene if we try to arrest her? I don't know. I just need y'all to do it up, whatever y'all want to do. Okay. I'm not going to hold y'all. Just do what y'all need to do. Right, let me grab your information. My name is... Who's that lady standing next to her in the paint or the uh, gray? That's her mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to get nasty real quick. Mm -hmm. So she's only got that little group of people there with her, right? She's only got that little group of people. Why don't she just leave? And then we can put a broadcast and get her up later. But I hate having to do stuff like that. I, I just don't know who's inside her truck. So I can't remember. Because right. that's her truck. Mm -hmm. You said the license plate was GC6314. 6314. It's supposed to stand for Graylon and Crystal in the day that they met. Wow. Is that your husband's? Yeah, we get a couple more. Gray line? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she made up this whole delusional thing. It's, this shit's gonna end up on a fucking lifetime. I swear to God. This is. Uh, no, no, no.
The service and everything is done. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, yes. I'm looking at site offers to handle this. Yes, ma'am. And you did it the right way. So we'll go. We'll go do what we can do. And we'll get Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Make sure you ask me address. Yes, ma'am. It needs to be that way. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's our family. What's her first name? Crystal. Crystal. Jesus, sorry. Is she in right here? Yeah, I think it's her first name. Do what? And you need for her to talk? Yeah, she no, agreed no, no. to leave she, the car, but she's going to have to talk. Crystal, calm down. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. For what? Put your hands behind your back. For what? Put your hands behind your back. What did you do? What? What did she get arrested for? Did y'all tell her she was under arrest and what for? You're under arrest. You're making some threats. She didn't make no threats. We've got witnesses. I need you guys to step back. I need you to step back. We'll talk to you in a minute, okay? She didn't make no threats. I need you guys to step back for now, please. Are I'm still confused on um, why a side chick's a side chick whole family came to a funeral for a guy that she wasn't with. She was a bust down and she decided to go to his funeral with her whole family. Why do you need your whole family to go with you to another man's funeral that you was a side chick of? I'm still confused on that alone. And now you've put yourself in a predicament where you're going to get arrested Gonna have to hold the L for the night, take a charge, probably get bond out of jail, make your family spend money. These are the results of being stupid. These are the results of being dumb. You want them to text her right now? Ms. Jones and Mr. Uh, we'll let you talk to her in the car. We'll explain to you. We'll explain to you. Okay, okay. Right. Hang on, man. Hey, Chris, Excuse me, can one of y'all talk to her parents and inform her parents? Back up, bro. Back up. Back up. Back up. That's what she's going for. She's going to jail because she's a side chick. She decided to come to the funeral home, disrespect the wife in front of her children and make threats. Now that's menacing. Thank God she didn't menace with a weapon. Menacing without a weapon is just a misdemeanor charge. So I'm pretty sure that she'll be out of jail or she'll get a, she'll get ROR. She'll get released on her own recognizance if she doesn't have any priors. But who who is that dumb? Imagine being a guy, you the side guy, and you come to the funeral of a lady that you were messing with that was married and her husband is there and you stir up some drama like this. Guys don't do this type of stuff. I'm not saying all women do it either, but women are more prone to do crazy stuff like this. Dudes aren't doing that. Dudes will go there, pay their respects and play their role. And if anything, a guy would come pay his respects and leave. And the other man possibly wouldn't even know he dealt with that lady. Chicks always got to cut up at funerals like they was the main chick. I've seen this in my lifetime growing up, going to some of the funerals I've been to. You got these girls in here cutting up like they was the main chick. This that, That's wild to me. Back, no, you're fine. I, I mean, she's, she, I mean, she's a grown woman, so. But we'll we'll talk Please to her parents. parents yeah. Her parents, come hey, here. Did go down there. You would be out. Her parents, come here. Back up. Okay. Her parents. Let's have a seat. Okay. 
my dress. Yeah, you're fine. No, I need her to pull it, my. It, I need her to pull my dress over my knees. Can you pull her dress over? Yeah, that's her dad. Hold on, dad and mom stand over there. Everybody else, back up. Back up. She's an adult. I will talk to everybody else later. Oh, y'all see the aggressiveness? Just be smart this time. Back the fuck up. Sorry. Right. Funny thing is, the cops are not even aggressive. They're not even aggressive. And that's what we have to stop doing sometimes. Our our kinfolk, we got to stop saying the cops are aggressive when they're not even being aggressive. If anybody seen any aggressiveness from the cops in this video, please let me know. Let me know what y'all seen that I haven't seen where they're aggressive. Because sometimes our kinfolk, we like to always say that the cops are aggressive when our kinfolks are the ones that are getting aggressive with the cops. And then the, the cops just return the aggressiveness, right? They return the aggressiveness right back to you. Sometimes our own people start up the aggressiveness and then the cops, that's when they get aggressive. Like yeah, some of some of y'all got to know how to act when you get around cops sometimes. Her charge, I'm pretty sure it's only a misdemeanor. It's menacing. That's it. She made some threats to her, which can easily be beat. She can get a, a freaking court appointed attorney and beat that charge. That ain't nothing. I appreciate your help. How old are you? Trying to do this as disrespectful as possible. I know there's a lot going on. How old are you? 20. I'll be 29 tomorrow. 29. Here's the deal. I can try to put them right there. There were some allegations of threats made that you said you were going to put her in the ground next to her husband. I haven't even made contact with her. There, she wouldn't even let me in the building. Right. I ain't made contact. Well, we're Anybody here. We're, we're hearing the otherwise, okay? And so. She's going to have to go down. She's going to have to press charges and that kind of stuff. Right now, you're going to go with us. Okay? So that's that's what it is, is the threat. It's menacing. You're threatening to kill her by putting her in the Do ground. I really look like I'm <laughs> and that's an easy charge to beat. People can say whatever they want. Somebody can say, I said that right now. It doesn't mean that I said it. Because people just say stuff sometimes when they're mad. Of course, the wife is going to mad and she will say anything to get you arrested. I know a lot of y'all feel me out there. Of course, the wife will say anything. She doesn't mind you getting arrested if, you come in, if you're coming there being disrespectful or even just showing up. She's going to feel that you disrespected her. You're the other woman. That's the side chick. You need to know your place. And then you come with your whole family. I'm still mind boggled by that alone. I know emotions are high. There's a lot of different but stuff going on, but th this is this is what everybody out here can tell you. I ain't saying that. That's right. his sister right there. Right. Like. <laughs> so that, that's that's where out. we're at today. Okay. That's the thing. She when well, she told me like you know I can go in there between four and four ten to see. I said okay. She said they just want you to you know leave for right now to everybody leave. I said okay. That was my car. I was getting into. Right. But everybody is leaving at the. And that that's wow. That's nasty work. If the wife. No, you're the side chick. And she said you can go in there from 4 to 4.10 to see him. That's crazy in itself. Why would If the wife did say that, she's bonkers. Why would you tell the side chick that you know your husband was sleeping with that she can go see your husband from 4 to 4.10 or to 4.20, whatever how long you was going to give her the opportunity to see him? She shouldn't even have been there. Or like I said, she should have known her, known her role and, and played her role in the back. She should have been in the back of the church. Paid her respect and went to the back of the church. Like, come on, man. At the same time, right. passing in front of my car, I can't hit nobody trying to get out, and then I'm not right. driving. So you're, you asked me to leave, which, which she told somebody else. She told somebody right. else, that, you know, that she was right. going to let me see him and that, you know, right. she just wanted me to leave for now. I was okay with that, but I couldn't get out. Clear when y'all even walked over there, y'all see it was a car blocking my car. Right, there's stuff. Right. So how am I? You but asked me to leave. How am I supposed right. to leave if I can't even get in my vehicle? And, and, and we out? didn't ask you to leave. No, we not y'all. I'm saying she I know, did. And, and we didn't tell you or nothing like that. No, that's fine. The reason you're going to go down today is because of the threats. Now, here's what happens. She has to go down and talk to the prosecutor. If she follows through with the charges, that's on that. It's a good, it's going to be a misdemeanor. Your people can bail you out within an hour or so, okay? And, and handle the stuff be? through in courts. And how much is that going to be? So I can I, let my I, family I know. know. I, I don't know the specifics. I don't want to give you a dollar amount. If you don't have any priors, you will get released on your own. Recon They'll release you. You'll get an appearance ticket. As long as you don't have any like major priors or anything like that. Or if not, it might be like a $500 bond.
you probably got to pay like 150 or 200 dollars a certain percentage of it it ain't gonna be nothing real but still in all you're in the wrong you got to hold that l I promise you something that's not true so can you let my, my family know that yeah we can let your 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 mom and them know that hey you're going to go down it's a misdemeanor charge yep. they should be able to bail you out within about an hour or two okay but the sooner that we can get you down there and get that process started without having to deal with the motions so and everybody somebody here. somebody going to call them? Like, can y'all get one of their you numbers? You'll be able to, to make a phone call. Call You'll be able to make a numbers. phone call. You know I their numbers. I just know my mom's. I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's just about the only mom's. family member I know is my mom. I just know my mom's number, number by heart. Well, that work? Okay. I can write a phone number down for you. Again. My mama answer. Mom, okay. just stay with Cupcake for me. Please. Uh, mom, I'll be all right. Just, they just said, uh, give me an hour or two. I'll be all right. Just give me an hour or two. Y'all can come get me. The I, I, only number I know is my mom. So y'all need to stay with my mama. But here's what here here's what I'll, I'll caution you guys with, okay? Regardless of what's going on with this, with this other girl and that kind of stuff, we don't need additional drama with the family stuff. You know what I mean? That's let's, the, it's not. All right, let's that, let's let the court really handle the stuff. If you really want to be technical, it's, it's her people. It's her own people. I done had a whole dude out here threatening me. I didn't call the police because right. I know emotions is high. Right. So That's if you know if you knew emotions were gonna be high because you you showed up as the side chick, why even go? Of course they're gonna back the wife. Anybody, I don't care who you are. You're going to back the wife. You're not going to back the side chick. You're going to think the side chick is coming there to be disrespectful. That's what the average person is going to think. I don't care who you are. That's the thing. I'm, I'm not that type of person. Right. I understand. And I'm not saying you are. You know what I mean? We're I'm caught in the middle. Whole, I'm in There's a whole all... dressing in sandals. Like. <laughs> all right, I'm going to shut the door, okay? <laughs> Let's stop the damn video right there. Hold the L to the side chicks out there. Know your place. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.